it's an amazing, amazing activity just because it brings you closer. It allows you to get creative. The only thing Style Squad that I could compare this to, me personally, is that feeling of when you were younger, you were a kid, and you were just thinking about everything you were gonna do with the money you made. Babe, what are we doing today? Today, Style Squad, we're doing seven indoor date night or date day ideas that you can do at home right now. You can do anything you want, you however yeah, song, you want to. You can yeah. do a, you can paint it, you can do whatever. Whatever you want to do to express your love slash passion for this individual. Yeah. Oh, Remo and Nova back with the flow. Oh, Doing styles of tears in a row. Artists that can't supply it and never. Match your pajamas, no ugly sweaters. Hit that sub, <laughs> hit that like, join the fam. Yeah, that's right. We, we going, going up, up. views going up, up. subs going up. We going up, views going up, subs going up. Remo and Nova on a track. Talented, silky, <laughs> Dr. Nova Styles. And we, and we are, are the, the S-T-Y-L-E-S -E Familia. Babe, let them know what we're doing today. Wait, what day is it? Oh, <laughs> I'm like ready to get into this topic. Today is day 21 of 25 days of Today, Style Squad, we're doing seven indoor date night or date day ideas that you can do at home right now. Seven indoor date night ideas that we love. What's number one, babe? Number one is gonna be a custom sneaker slash shoe night. You're gonna take a blank sneaker or even your favorite pair of shoes, sandals, heels, whatever, and you and your partner are gonna customize it to the best of your ability. You can put whatever on it. We advise you to use whatever you have at home. Markers, pens, pencils, uh, glue, cotton balls. You can get super creative and have fun. Usually this idea is like, mostly guys like to cut out their sneakers or, or, or sneaker heads if you're a female. But we encourage people from all walks of life, even if you're in corporate, get those loafers even out. Even if you're in corporate. <laughs> Not corporate, but even if you don't wear sneakers, you know what I'm saying? Get those loafers out, get those paints. Loafers, you go uh, custom your loafers, that's gonna be crazy. You can go crazy, crazy. Some loafers, you can go crazy with it. You know, and then we, it's fun, you know, and then you get to see your partner's artistic side and see what they can do with any shoe. What's number two, baby? Number two is a hand sculpture date night. For this date night, it is Love Jones meets Ghost. Y'all know that epic scene in Ghost where they're doing the ceramics and it's so romantic. They're touching, feeling. This is kind of that vibe in your house. With the hand sculpture, you're literally taking a mold of your hands in any position. Maybe just holding hands, might do your ring fingers. I've seen uh, couples do it with their rings on. We're gonna do it, but I, I doubt, I don't wanna leave my ring on. Do you wanna leave your ring on? But Precious they do metals. come out really, really dope. Maybe we can put on faux jewelry that replicates ours so it can be in it. But they come out so dope and it's an entire ceramics pottery process that you're doing in your home. And I think it, should, it would take a few hours because essentially you're creating the sculpture with clay. You have to make the clay, create the sculpture, do the mold, let it dry, and then paint it. So this is an, a deeply engaging date night that's gonna take a few hours, but it'll be really enjoyable. We, we have a kit that Lola, our best friend, gifted us, so we're Got gonna you, do Lola. it soon. We've been saving it for a special moment, so that moment is coming up soon. So we're gonna do it. We implore you to do the same, a hand sculpture date night. What's number three, baby? Number three is gonna be planning out your best vacation ever. A lot of us take vacations and they're okay, they're, they're all right. We want you guys and gals to sit down and think about what would be the best vacation. For both of For you, both of all you. of your ideas. Right. And as Babe said, we take vacations and we kind of plan a little bit and go on it. Right. But for this one, you're gonna take the entire date night and plan every single dream that you would want to have right. in your vacation. The only thing Style Squad that I could compare this to, me personally, is that feeling of when you were younger, you were a kid, and you were just thinking about everything you were gonna do with the money you made. Mm. 
man. That, that dreamy feeling of like, wow, I'm gonna get this car, I'm gonna get this. We want you to do that same thing, have those same, that same imaginatory feeling, that same creativity. Nothing is off, off the limits. Plan that vacation and start making it happen. By you being with your partner, just planning and plotting and figuring it out, I feel like you're closer, and you're actually getting to the destination, you're gonna be like, wow, we planned this and it made it happen, and we're here. And what's gonna, all that's gonna make you do is plan more stuff out and build that stronger bond. I feel like this day could also lead to follow-up dates because we have this dream vacation. Now we have to create a vision board to bring the visual aspect of making that happen. Right. Now we need to help come up with a financial plan. That's already three days to, that came out on one date. Right, so right, that's, right. that's a dope idea. Definitely. What's number four, baby? Number four is to make ice cream, homemade ice cream. We're not talking about, <laughs> was that your face? We're not talking about get an ice cream machine and put milk and cream in the ice cream machine. We're talking old school, make your ice cream by getting some coffee tin cans, your okay. plastic bags, put your cream, your heavy cream in. If you need a recipe, hit me up. Put your heavy I cream in, <laughs> put it in the baggie, put your rock salt in there, and start rolling, rolling, rolling. And you have to literally roll for almost 20 minutes and take the time. You could add any flavorings that you want, any fruits, any candies. Just engage in the process of making your actual ice cream by hand from scratch with your partner. And it's an amazing, amazing activity to do because it brings you closer. It allows you to get creative in a different kind of way. Not just a cooking kind of activity or anything like that, but this is really from scratch. Definitely, and the thing I appreciate about that the most is that you two are building something that you're gonna to consume together. Mm -hmm. So you get to know the person's taste, if it's too sweet, if it's salty, you get to know what they really like. That can help you with further dates or further uh, planning meals and desserts, stuff like that. You can even create your own couple's ice cream, an right. official ice cream for your relationship. Right. It's like you're talking about Ben and Jerry's, now you got Sarah and Louie. Now you got Nova Remo. Nova Remo. Number five, babe. Number five, Style Squad is going to be teaching your partner something you're really good at. A lot of times in relationships, or even in dating, we come from different walks of life, whatever that may be. She's good at something, I'm good at something, but the two never really connect. It may be tasks or situations that are delegated to one individual in the relationship. We want to take this opportunity to teach your partner something you're really good at, to add to them and give them a skill and make them more valuable. That could be something as simple as, you're really good at carpentry. You can build a shelf, you can put things up, you can hand cut your frame. Take that time to do that and show your partner how to do it that way, they can do it for themselves and they can learn a skill and you not become an asset to that partner. Oh, I love that. I, love, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have anything else left to say <laughs> <for> that. <laughs> there you go. What's number six, baby? Number six is to recreate your favorite, most favorite, most favorite date night. With this, is gonna take some reflecting because if you have been out on plenty of dates with your partner, or even a few dates, you're gonna to have to think about which one of those dates was a favorite for both of us. Mm. For us, that's really hard to think about because yeah, we fun. had so many, and I think the ones that are the most favorite probably may be a little more challenging and invigorating, so thinking about how you can create that in your house. Mm. So think about when we went to a 13 course, the 13 course Michelin oh. house. That was one of our favorites. How can we create that in our house? That's gonna be tough. You know, a 13 course, where they're thinking about, I'm gonna cook the entire 13 courses and uh, feed it to us. If we're gonna have a private, hire a private chef to come in, or if we can cook both of the, all of those courses together. But essentially- Or, or you oh, can order from, from 13 different restaurants. Yo. You can, go, you can go that, you can go crazy yes. on the door that. Start off with a bag of chips. 13, hold on, I'm gonna go to the Mitchie. Well, you can go to a deli, you can go, you can get a bag of chips. Went to a Mitchie. Then chopped cheese. We, that's what we're gonna get? The nah. honey turkey. <laughs> then you get the, the halal food, you know what I'm saying? You can do that, get creative, recreate your most favorite date in the best way possible. We get to the last one. The last one, we the juiciness. We got to the last one. We're at the last one. Number seven, baby. 
Let's do this one together. All right, let's do it together. Number, Number seven, seven is to create, create a passion, passion love presentation. presentation. What's that, that babe? So what that's gonna be is you're gonna basically create a presentation, PowerPoint style, rap style, however you, however you express yourself to talk about why you're passionate or you love your partner. Your partner. <laughs> Now, how dope is that? If you sit back and watch someone tell you all the reasons why they love you or they're passionate about you in their own creative way. You, you can do anything you want. You however yeah, songs, you want to, you yeah. Can do a, you can paint it, you can do whatever. Whatever you want to do to express your love slash passion for this individual. And then you would have present it to them and just tell them why you did it, so on and so forth. You can just get really creative with it. You're gonna dig deep to think about reasons, examples, all the things that you need to show your partner why and how you're passionate about them. Right. We're actually, this was my second favorite one, not second favorite, one of my other favorites on the list uh, because this is something we thought of together. We haven't done it yet, so we're gonna do it and we're gonna create a video for you all. Absolutely. This was an idea that we came up with just thinking about for this list, what are some dope indoor date night ideas that we've had, that we've done, and what are some that we can do. And these are one of the, uh, this is one of the ideas that we thought of together. I'm really excited about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. What's crazy too about this list is that I feel as though all of these dates could happen in almost like sequential order. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of build with this, with this last date being the, the more like, serious or more romantic one or more spiritual one in a sense you know yeah and we didn't even plan it that way right. look at us yeah. look at us star squad we want you to try out if not all seven some of some these of these, yeah. indoor date night ideas we suggest indoor date nights because in most parts of where we are it's cold during this time of the year and we're inside you want to do some indoor dates we implore you to try all of our ideas. Absolutely. It's also a good way to still have fun, still be romantic, and still court your partner while having a fun, dope day idea. I think it's that both you guys will enjoy. Star Squad, if you like this video, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. And if you want to see a video every time we drop another video, don't forget to tap that bell. Tap it. Tap that <laughs> bell. Hit that subscribe button, tap that bell, leave a like, leave a comment. We really enjoy this content. And if you want to see more videos, comment below and say, hey, I want to see this, I want to see that. Yeah. Let us know. Join us tomorrow for day 22 Two. of Styles Miss. We love you. We thank you. Peace.